Hey yo everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video we will be trying a main DPS Nahido with the current team comp you see on the right. If you have any ideas for different team comps we can test with main DPS Nahida, do drop them down in the comments down below. I will be trying them out and seeing if I can show you guys, showcase you guys with any of those, something with any of those team comps. That was complicated. But yeah guys, also quick um, notice that so far, the stream is going to be on Saturday, the 29th of April for me. I'm not sure about the time yet, but I will try to make sure to get the time as early as possible to you guys out. I might give you a couple of a different options for a time for the stream and let you guys choose. I'm not sure yet what's going on, what's going to go on and stuff, so I'll let you guys know and I'll keep you up to date. Without further ado, let's jump right into it, shall we? As always, RoboChicken was so kind to volunteer to be the test dummy, or volunteery, or I don't know. Let's just go into it and see how it goes, you know, just the usual, start with swirling electro so we can have a bit more electro applied, Kuki E, Beto, uh, Nahira Q, and let's get into this. We did 27k. There was a 28k, there's a 28k again, 29k, it's just keep, it just keeps going up by 1k in increments. So we're gonna do a little reset here with Kuki and Nahida only. They should be able to do this. And he's dead! He didn't even get a chance to go into his resistance phase, Almo he was almost in that phase, but he's defeated. Nahida wins, uh, Robo Chicken Zero. But we're gonna continue and see how it goes, shall we? So, we had to give Beto the chance to show why she's really in this team, you know? Like, why she really is in this team. Let's go ahead. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead, set up the swirls. We're not gonna do Kazuha E because that jumping, that fl robot is gonna start to fly and that's not what we want. Naida E and we just normal. And we E whenever we can. Ow, that kind of hurt. Okay, so let's reset here with our cookie. That's one down. And he's dead. We did it. No, we're not gonna fight you guys. Nope. That's just... No thanks. Not gonna happen. We might try Robo Chicken again, but instead of using Beto this time, I might try to use Yaimiko to see if there is a big difference. So we're gonna go ahead, get our Yaimiko here, and we're gonna head back to Robo Chicken again, and I'll see you guys there. So, here we are with our wonderful Miko, and we are gonna go into it and see what we can do. So, as always, Kazuha Burst to get that up and running. Let's get the Yai Miko turrets. Kuki E and Nahida. So that we can do Nahida stuff. That's why we're here, right? Okay, 28k again. We seem to be we seem to be doing a lot more damage with uh, Yaimiko here because she is also doing some damage in between, and then you can also use Yaimiko burst to finish up an enemy like that. That was kind of nice, I must say. I think I do like the Yaimiko variant for single target more, but Beto really works good with multiple targets. I like that about Beto. So we're gonna go over to one last showcase. Those who have been here for a long time with the channel, come on. You know what's coming. So, see you there. So, here we are. We're gonna set up the rotation here. With our characters. We have Yaimiko here for single target. And let's get our Nahida set up. I saw 44k, 29k with charge and 44k with Tri-Karma. 46k with Tri-Karma purification uh, thing. We didn't have enough time to see much more, but there you have it. 
that's our Nahida nuke showcase with Tricarma and uh, Aggravate Nahida. Wait, Spread Nahida? Yes, Spread. Yeah, yeah, it's Spread, right? I'm pretty sure it's Spread. <laughs> But okay, very well then. Let's head to the outro, shall we? So, here we are. Yes, it has come to this. Before we continue, if you don't mind, drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought about this video. And hey, if you want to see any future teams or a kind of variation of a character or a team comp that you want to see, comment that down below too. I'll check it out and see if I can do it. Okay, so now for our Nahida build. First of all, she has 466 EM with 80 to 2 18 crit damage and of course her weapon is lost prayer because i got it on the off rate up and we have two piece killed it two piece deep wood here is the stats if you want to see them i know there is better sets to run but that's what i had with the stats and all c0 and talents is triple eight now as for the rest of the team there was they were just there for support so it doesn't really matter and now for the conclusion, my thoughts on Nahida main DPS. It's fun, and it is viable. But then again, what I said in the Nilo uh, main DPS video kind of holds here too. Like, it's better for whales to do it. But if you're free to play, and you really enjoy playing Nahida, and you want her as your main DPS, go for it. It's viable. She can do it, and even just off-field with her Tri Karma. She does a lot of damage if she has Electro in there to activate and spread and all the weird reactions that comes with Electro and Dendro. But yeah, it was fun and I might just do this off video for fun too. I mean, I enjoy it, just like the Nilo one, that was fun too. But once again, it's better if you have her like her signature weapon or a crit rate or crit damage weapon. And of course, C6 helps her a lot. It just boosts her damage even beyond anything. But yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't mind, drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought about this video. And as always, cheers.